British Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn getting slammed in the press for his latest anti-Semitic incident and his bizarre clarifications. Journalists uncovered the photos that show Corbyn attending a ceremony to honor the Palestinian terrorists behind the 1972 Munich Olympics massacre against Israeli athletes. Corbyn trying to clarify that the photos of him helping lay the wreath, saying that he was there, he was present, but didn't participate, and he didn't leave because basically it would be impolite. Corbyn has been involved in one reported anti-Semitic debacle after another, but this one has struck a national nerve. Take a look at the front page headlines from some of the UK's biggest papers today. And Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, slamming Corbyn, saying what Corbyn did deserves unequivocal condemnation, regardless of your political stripe. Corbyn, though, firing back, saying let's focus instead on Israel's actions in Gaza, killing Palestinian protesters there. That's what truly deserves condemnation. With me in studio is David Menser. He is the former director of Labor Friends of Israel. Sir, thanks for being with us, David. I want to ask for an international audience. Jeremy Corbyn has been involved in one scandal after another about his actions and his attitudes towards Jews and Israel. Why is this one different? Why is this one striking such a nerve? Because, of course, there's photographic evidence of the man uh, laying a wreath at the uh, tomb of the terrorists which, ca which carried out the Black September terrorists, which carried out the uh, attack. This isn't just words. These are actual photographs of him laying a wreath at terrorists' graves. Uh, you know, what further evidence could there be that this is a man uh, who has 30 years of Jew hatred under his belt. He is committed to Jew hatred. It is a central part of his identity. Even when his advisors advise him, as some of my friends who work in the Labour Party still, when they advise him to move away from this issue, he refuses because this is a central part of his identity. Is it hurting the Labour Party? And is Corbyn losing support on a national level for this? Or is this, at a national level, kind of a minor scandal? Well, look, the, the, the picture is a little confused uh, because the general election, which happened uh, just uh, over a year ago now, Corbyn received 40 percent of the vote when his background about um, uh, a sort of Jew hatred background was, was, was known. Arguably now it is much more known. It is much better. There's much better recognition of this issue. And the latest polls have shown that the Conservatives have taken a lead against Jeremy Corbyn. But this is an important point here because isn't it remarkable that in you in the UK today, that the UK body politic, that the UK media, that the UK political infrastructure can actually stomach a man with this sort of past? That I think is, is the most shocking element to all of this. Uh, David, can I ask quickly? about the latest reports you're hearing about the terror attack in London this morning, this car ramming. What do we know about the, the person who's behind the attack, possible motives? Well, look, uh, unfortunately, this uh, method of car ramming was first, unfortunately, finessed by Palestinian terrorists in Israel. Uh, uh, you know, and we always used to tell members of parliament that were visiting Israel at the time that, you know, beware of what happens in Israel, the attacks which Israel is under, because these very same things will happen uh, soon in the, in the UK and in Europe. And unfortunately, that has come to pass. We know that the man that uh, did this attack is not cooperating with police. That's a very important factor. The police have now declared that it is a terrorist incident, uh, whereas they are very, very careful not to say it's terrorism if they're not sure whether it's an accident or not. They are absolutely convinced it is terrorism. And now the whole of the uh, British security infrastructure with the cabinet meeting at lunchtime today, they will be now looking into what actions need to be taken to protect Britain's, Britain's population against further acts of terrorism. There have been car ramming attacks in the same general area outside parliament in recent months and recent years. The questions about really what security can be put in place what what would the public stomach in regards to security will this change the debate well look i've spent 20 years working in and around parliament and i'll tell you uh, things have changed a lot already uh, british security service have mimicked uh, what's been done in israel putting large concrete barriers to prevent uh, the attack getting close uh, getting uh, close and being able to enter the parliamentary estate. And in one sense, that is what's happened at this time. The concrete barriers did actually prevent the terrorists from getting onto the parliamentary estate itself. 
Unfortunately, Brits are becoming very used to terrorism right now. This is unfortunately a very regular occurrence now. Uh, Europe is no longer immune to this sort of terrorist attack as it once was before. Uh, you know, the, the, the shocking thing to me right now is that we have in London a mayor, uh, the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, who's in his former uh, life was the um, advisor, the legal advisor to the Nation of Islam. So, you know, what's happening in Europe right now is, is bizarre, to say the least.